was directly referred by uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza. Um, I have been attending his seminars for uh, years and finally admitted frankly to Dr. Joe that I was at my wits end and Dr. Joe said, you know, there's one spot for you. Why don't you go to the sanctuary? I think you love it. What got me to the sanctuary was ultimately a series of years um, where I had really tried um, my, my best to um, find meaningful and lasting sobriety um, using 12-step programs. And ultimately, in the end, I would find myself you know, on certain days going to two or three meetings in a day and getting loaded that very night. So that caused me to you know, go into a deep uh, you know, state of uh, just, I mean, depression and uh, just feelings of failure. Um, and then ultimately, as a result of um, just being unable to stop getting loaded, some really traumatic experiences in my life, issues with the law, issues with family, issues with relationships, issues with work, all of those factors piling up, feeling like there was no way out. And in the end, making a decision as to whether or whether or not I would go back to rehab for the fourth time and continue to do the same type of procedure to get myself you know, back into a sober living home after going to a 12-step rehab and then integrating back into AA on the one hand, that was my choice, or on the other hand, I could try something completely different. And so I chose to do something completely different, and I'm <laughs> living a life that is second to none as a result of it. Oh. You know, it's not an easy process, and it's not for the faint of heart. I think that um, going from being in a place where I couldn't stop getting loaded at all, no matter how hard I tried, to now being in a place where it's just not part of my reality anymore on a day-to-day -day basis. How uh, do I live today differently than the way that I did then? I had a perception of the way my, my disease worked. And that perception um, caused me to have a self-defeating attitude. And it caused me to have a belief about myself that was negative, powerlessness, and all this kind of um, you know, programming. I'm an alcoholic, I'm an addict. Um, this kind of belief system that didn't serve me, that has changed. Now I believe great things about myself, and those great things are true. And on a daily basis, I keep in close contact with my higher power, which I've developed a greater relationship with as a result of going through the process at the sanctuary. I think if I hadn't had those tools, I believe that it's likely I would either be dead, quite frankly, at the rate that I was getting loaded, or if not, if not dead, certainly I would have lost everything meaningful in my life the things that I hadn't already lost, which were of course numerable. I am free from that. I have recovered. I'm rewired, restructured, re-energized, repowered.